Hi, I'm Barry Olney from InCircuit Design. This is a demonstration of the Stack Up Planner bidirectional interface to the IPC2581 format. First of all, we'll import a IPC2581B file and um, I'll select a 8 layer fabrication.xml that I believe was created by Polar Instruments and we load that into the Stack Up Planner. Now you can see it has all the prepreg and core materials, um, multiple prepregs that are um, joined together here to get the correct thickness, um, but there are no in characteristic impedance or differential impedances there. So what I'll do first of all is we'll um, just insert some um, trace widths and clearances Trace width. So as you can see, this gives us roughly roughly 50 ohms and 100 ohms differential impedance. Um, I can also edit one of these, um, or I can edit all of them, but I'll just edit one to start with. Uh, one of these prepregs, and I'll use a Isola 370HR material, and we want about three mil here, so I'll pick a 2.9 and I've added a material from our library. Our library now has 13,357 materials to choose from up to 100 gigahertz. So once we've got this data in here, we've got the characteristic impedance and edge coupled differential impedance. I'll now export this uh, to the um, 2581B standard again. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We can just export it directly, which I'll do now, or you can use a template file. Now, if you have imported a 2581B file that has assembly information and testing information and other data other than StackUp, you can use that as a template file. We extract the StackUp information, edit that, and then merge it back in with the rest of the data. So when you merge it back in, you have a complete file again with a changed StackUp that has been edited in the StackUp planner. So in this case, I'll just um, export this to and I'll just call it IPC2581B import.xml and I'll bring over the wires uh, viewer and we'll now read that file in that we just created. So here's the file we created and read it in. And here you can say, see we have all the, the layers and multiple prepregs listed as dielectrics there, um, down to the eight layers and then a solder mask. Um, I'll now open up a, another file. I'll just um, open up this 10 layer stack up now. This has all the materials defined from our library. Again, ISO 370HR, which we've chosen in this one. Um, we have characteristic impedance, we have edge coupled impedance, and we've also got broadside differential impedance here. So, what I'll do now is I'll export this to the B format and I'll just call this 10 layer XML and now I'll open up this file we just created and we'll look at the contents and here you can see that we have the revision B here and we have the complete 10 layer stack here um, right down to the bottom solder mask um, the certification is beta until uh, it is certified um, we have an air uh, dielectric which is above the solder mask with a dielectric constant of 1, the solder mask which is a liquid photo imageable with a dielectric constant of 3, uh, we have a top copper layer which has a conductivity and a surface roughness, up facing surface roughness, and we have in controlled impedance requirements and this is microstrip on the outside, the top layer, uh, mask covered, 54 ohms, um, we have a line width of 4 and we uh, that is for a single ended impedance and then we have an edge coupled uh, differential and that is 102.3 ohms in this case with uh, 4 mm uh, trace and 8 mm spacing in the reference plane for both the microstrip uh, single ended and the edge coupled differential is layer 2 which is the ground plane we then have a dielectric material, the prepreg, which is uh, a 370HR uh, 1080 
Weave with a 66% uh, resin content. Dielectric constant of 3.97, loss tangent of 0 0.0173, and resin content here 66 and 1080 glass style. Uh, we then have the ground um, copper layer and another dielectric which is a core. Uh, and then we have a, another signal layer which has an up facing and down facing surface roughness as well as conductivity. conductivity. And we have the impedance requirements for the dual strip line. So we have first of all 51 ohms impedance for the single ended with a 4 mm uh, line width or trace width. We have an impedance of 96.7 ohm differential with a, a 4 mm trace and 12 mm clearance. And we have a broadside coupled impedance of 48.89 ohms with 4 mm tracing trace width and 12 mm spacing. Of course this also works in metric uh, millimeters. And the reference plane for the strip line single ended, edge coupled and broadside coupled are layers 2 and 5. So we can go through all that and that specifies um, every layer of the stack up uh, till we get down to the bottom solder mask and then there's another air dielectric below the solder mask and then we have defined um, the layer stack up whether they solder mask prepregs cores or whatever an internal uh, positive or negative images um, and also the total overall board thickness uh, with the um, tolerance and we have the solder mask thickness which was uh, 0.5 mil um, and we have um, our top layer trace thick 1.4 mil so this goes through every layer of the board and lists the thickness of the layers and then we have another listing of the stack up itself so there's a quick demonstration of the bidirectional interface to the stack up planner from IPC-2581B standard thank you very much